Come here with me, Julie. Okay. It's uh, Phoenix with Julie. Julie is with the Inglewood Bird Sanctuary. She's also with the city of Calgary. Hey, we're walking on this fantastic pathway here at Inglewood, which is always a fantastic thing to do. But also beside us here is, of course, the pathway and, of course, the riverbank. Because over the weekend, it was a pretty cool event. Yes, we had the 46th annual Pathway and River Cleanup event. Uh, so we've been doing it for 46 years. Started with a 12-year-old girl who was a little upset about the state of uh, the waste that was sitting in her rivers. And so she got a group together, got some cleanups done, and uh, we've been taking it on ever since then. So the City of Calgary Parks, along with a lot of partners, both internal and external, hosted an event yesterday. We're estimating 98 groups and over 2,500 wow. volunteers. Wow. We are still upset here in Calgary with the amount of, of trash and garbage on our pathways and riverbanks. We have a lot of it, and, and part of our message this year is we want, we want to not be doing this event in another 10 years. I mean, it's great that we have 46 years worth of it, but at the same time, that's 46 years of us collecting waste mm -hmm. that doesn't belong there. So we would like to see that in another 10, 15 years, we're not collecting the waste anymore, that we've had all citizens own their own waste, that they know that when they're out in a park, it is clean. It has been cleaned, and they will keep that waste with them and bring it to the garbage can instead of just leaving it on the trail. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason of cleaning it. When you see all the litter on the ground, you're more likely to go, eh, it doesn't matter about that one piece that's in my hand. And so instead, they'll throw their piece aside. Uh, so we want people to own that, bring it back to a garbage can, bring it back to their car, whatever waste receptacle they choose. It was pretty impressive as well, too, with interpretive programs that are run, for example, here at the Bird mm -hmm. Sanctuary. You start with the kids. You start explaining to them that whatever waste you bring in, you bring out as well, too. So it starts at a young age, and, yeah. and hopefully it, it, it will improve. Yeah, and we know that we have a lot of that level of education and so this year actually with the pathway and river cleanup we did a waste audit and that lets us look at where did the waste come from and how do we properly educate to make sure it doesn't end up in our parks in future because just because it's in our parks doesn't mean it's just parks concerns mm -hmm. it also it came from somewhere so it's a bylaw issue it's a waste and recycling issue but it may flow into the river which, which is right beside us, and then it becomes a water services issue. It pe can become a drinking water issue for the communities farther downstream. It becomes a fisheries, a Department of Fisheries and Oceans issue because it interacts with the wildlife that are dependent on that river, the fish that use it as habitat. Uh, so that's why we do that cleanup along those river pathways. And this year, with so many groups, we actually expanded into parks all across the city. Wow, wow. And, the, and the great news too, Julie, it does not end here, as I know this program's coming up over the next little bit. Uh, here in the city so just be aware of it be aware of cleaning up after yourself basically yes we have volunteer events throughout the year any group can well you can first of all take care of the park yourself so if you see a piece pick it up if you're out with your dog make sure you bring your waste back Beautiful. if you want to come out as a group organize a volunteer event call 311 we will get you set up with a volunteer event but we have some set ones so on June 8th we have birthplace forest cleanup out in Elliston Park uh, throughout the year we do puppy events which is pick up pooches poo yourself you go. in a bunch of off-leash dog parks so education campaigns but also a bit of litter cleanup um, and then we also do the Great Canadian Shoreline in the fall and that September, happens yeah. in yeah every September along uh, river pathways and along lakes and water edges in the city as well bottom line is Julie let's keep Calgary beautiful let's keep it clean there you go more go Calgary from this amazing and beautiful day and beautiful place you go with Bird Sanctuary here on Shaw TV